In this macros first tutorial, I'm going to show you how to track alcohol into your macros. So for this example, I'm going to go down to my dinner and pretend like I'm pre-planning to have a beer to see how that fits into my day before anything else. So I'm going to hit the plus sign next to dinner and then tap on the barcode scanner. I just grab this random beer out of the fridge, I'm going to scan it, and luckily I found a match in the database. So you can see here the information is plugged in. But we've got a problem where as we see there's only five grams of carbs and for every gram of carb there's four calories so that would only be 20 calories but you can see that there's a total of 202 calories in this beverage and so there's a lot of calories not being accounted for here so that's where the convenience of this macros first feature to convert alcohol to macros toggle here is really going to benefit you and help you. So it's essentially the same functionality as the WAG al alcohol calculator app where you could use this toggle to manipulate 100% of those calories towards your carbs, flip it all the way over to the left to do 100% to your fat, or you can find some comfortable place in between. The choice is yours um, as far as how you want to allocate those calories towards your carbs, fats, or somewhere in between. So you can tap back into the line item adjust it and see what the readout's coming out to and adjust all that stuff to your liking. Alternatively to the barcode scanner app, if it, nothing is found in the database, then you could open up the WAG alcohol calculator app and then plug in the ABV percentage and then the ounces and then use the same feature at the top here to allocate all those calories towards your carbs, towards your fats, or somewhere in between. And if you're doing this, this is where the quick ad for alcohol would come in handy where you could then plug in the number of grams for carbs, if that's how I wanted to track it. Or I could go back to the app and say, well, let's see how much fat it would take up if I did 100% to fat, only 23 grams. So then I can delete that entry, hit the plus sign, do a search for my alcohol fat quick ad, type in the number of grams for the serving size, go back to macros first, hit the check mark, and then boom. I can see exactly how that affects my day and wipe out the previous entry since this is how I chose to log it.